five belt. It's as close as you can possibly get to the original 1964 beach buggy built by Bruce Myers. Underneath, it is a 1950s Beetle. Beetle floor pan, Beetle suspension, Beetle engine, Beetle gearbox. It's got Beetle lights on it. I've even got a Beetle speedometer and Beetle hubcaps. It's brilliant. This is a beach buggy very like the one that Steve McQueen drove in the original Thomas Crown Affair. And if it's good enough for... Oh, God. <laughs> I've been joined by the 1970s. buggy was, what I built is what a beach buggy can be. If you have a bit of imagination and some purple metal flake paint. <laughs> so there, I believe, is the start point of our adventure. an extraordinary place. It's amazing, isn't it? I mean, more seals. What David Attenborough never told us about those I don't is know you... how bad they smell. Sadly, before our nature documentary could go any further, Richard Hammond emerged from the mist. Oh, hello. That's not a beach buggy, is it? Well, I wouldn't call that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ladies and gentlemen, Dick Tari. <coughs> Behold! What are you wearing? <laughs> what are you wearing? Well, I'm in Africa. <laughs> These trousers, <laughs> did they say in the shop, I'm afraid they are yellow, sir. When he left, they went, yes, 20 years we've had those on the <laughs> hanger. Shut and up. then we must move over to this. Yeah. We were told to build beach buggies. Yes. Beach buggies. It's not a beach buggy. It isn't. How it many... is a beach buggy. It That's isn't a beach, a beach buggy. It's got a roof. It is. There's no beetle in here at all. Yes, there is. Beetle engine in there. How many, OK, this space frame chassis... Yeah. Is that from the beetle? No. These enormous suspension components... Yes. ..that don't even fit under the bodywork. Well, 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 you've got two lots of suspension at the back. Why Twin got... shocks. Well, Twin they, shocks. Uh, you know, I like an off-road sort of vibe. To get here, we had to drive on a beach. Yeah. Ours have made it. I didn't need two lots of rear suspension on no, mine. Neither did I. Look, we were told to come to Africa. Yes. If we'd been told to go to Santa Monica Beach, then this, with its uh, um, incredibly uh, um. vivid paint, that's the most metal flake I've ever seen Any on... Any beach in the world. Um, uh, hang on. What's what? that? That's the engine. What, what engine is it? V8! I'll put a V8 in a beach buggy. Well, no, you haven't. You've parked your beach buggy quite close. It's not in it. It isn't in it. <laughs> no. You've reversed into a V8, but not quite hard enough. It's only gone in a third of the way. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to fit a V8 to a beach buggy? Well, it does. Well, it's fit. obviously impossible. <laughs> Evidently, <yeah. laughs> it's impossible. This is no ordinary V8. Started out in life as a three and a half litre V8 from a Range Rover, but I've modified it so it produces. 180 horsepower. Can I just say, you were doubting the credibility of mine as a beach yep. buggy. Yeah. The defining characteristic of a beach buggy is it air-cooled Black 4 Beetle engine. <laughs> no, that's not an engine, James. That's just a fan. How many horsepower does yours have? 94. So I have twice as many horsepower. Shall I tell you something? They're not in the car, though. No, they not. are. They're near it. Yes. It's stunning. interesting, isn't it? I mean, that yes, is interesting. Nothing about that is interesting. Well, this is a blank canvas onto which you can paint your personality. Yes. Yours has got a prolapse V8 hanging out of its backside and terrible paint. Mine is a rather magnificent Daktari-themed off-roader. That has got nothing on it. You can express it's a bit all boring, your personality James. in your standard. It's not... What do you mean, standard? Well, it's, it's a standard. beach buggy. It's, it's 